1170 WOCA. Ocala. Ocala, baby, what makes you look so good? So good. Why don't you love me like I know you could? Right, five minutes after 10 o'clock, it is time for Ocala Magazine Radio. Kelly Hart is gracing our studio with her effervescence. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Good morning. How are you? Happy Friday. I'm wonderful. It is happy Friday. It's a beautiful day, huh? It is gorgeous. It really is. So I was, I was hoping Chris was coming today so I could tell him I saw uh, Avatar. Oh, you finally saw Avatar? <laughs> What'd you think? It was great. Wasn't it great? It was great, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. great. So now the next step will be to go to the theme park and experience it I in know. real life. I know. And we spoke to the traveling mom lady this morning, travelingmom.com, whatever. Uh-huh. And she was with you that day. You probably didn't know her. Oh, I did not know she that. She was one of those media people that got the little uh, cool extra deal. special treatment. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And she said did. she went on it nine times. Wow. How many times did you go on it? Uh, on, we, the, on the flight ride. We went on it twice. Oh, you did? Yeah. We went on it twice. Nine times. That's what she said. Oh, she how, really how many, liked it. How long is it? How long of a ride is it? Um, it's a couple minutes, so, but it's one of those where you kind of go into one room and then they prepare you for the ride and they start telling you that they have to link you with your avatar. So it's, it's progressive in, in that, in that regards, but, um, it's, I mean, it really is very nice. Nine times is a lot, but good for I, uh, her. We watched this video that showed how they made it, too, and which was kind of cool. So cool. How they made the faces. and, and uh, Have you ever seen one of those videos for this particular movie? Yeah, 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 I did. I watched a few when I after we went to the theme park, and then before I started writing, I was doing a lot of research online about you know everything that i saw and experienced and and just to get facts and figures and numbers and so it was pretty cool in fact i learned that james cameron sat in the same seat that i later sat in <laughs> to experience the ride so i'm basically friends with james cameron there you go yes if your butt goes to the same place as somebody else's if your butt, butt's been you're, you're, yeah you're like blood brothers basically blood Siblings. Siblings, yes. So what? What? who is the uh, the character on the cover of Ocala Magazine? Who is that? Is that the, the female character? So, yes. Mm-hmm. And where did you get the picture from? I mean, was she, like, was there a model of her there or no, something? No. Well, this is actually, a. it was kind of a, a bust statue that's outside of one of the little oh, huts okay, that, okay. that sells refreshments What's and drinks. What's her name? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I had a it's, hard time. I remember. can't yeah, the remember are, yeah, the okay. names are. You know, it's a yeah. different language. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. but there is a nice little placard that has all the information on it, and yeah, I can't ever remember because it's very peculiar language there. But it was just really beautiful, and it was very captivating. As you can, I mean, their eyes and everything. It's just so. Did beautiful. you go at night by chance? We did. Yeah. Okay. So we went during the day, and then took a break, and then came back at night. And it's just like a, it's like an entirely new experience. The second time around at night does it completely change the likelihood that people will choose animal kingdom as a destination do you think absolutely in fact i have never been to animal kingdom oh really ever Uh i you know i've been to the disney's and i've the mgms and the universals and all of those theme parks even some of the the water parks blizzard beach and some of those and in my entire life and that's not to say this is the norm but Animal Kingdom has just never really gotten I a lot think of hype. Is, I think it is the norm, though. Because, you know why? Because you picture Bush Gardens. Yeah. You think, well, I could just go to Bush Gardens. Right. So, yeah, you think about I could go to a zoo, I could go to Bush Gardens. Right. Bush Gardens right, has right. animals and then has roller coasters and all these things. Yeah. And so it just was, I, sad to say, it just has never really been very enticing. And now all of a sudden, it's taken on a go. whole new, yeah. And the fact that the park is now open at night so that you can experience Pandora right, means right. that everybody else within Animal Kingdom kind of had to step up. So they have this beautiful, you know, tree of life that that glows at night and has this beautiful laser light show. And I, I can only presume that over time there will be more night specific. Do you know what I have a question about? I wonder if you know the answer. Do they do fireworks? Since this is these are animals, so you don't want explosions over. I mean, make the elephants go nuts and stuff, right? Right, but they do. They had they had a night show that it was not it was not fireworks. Although, like you know, where all the parks are, it's like if you if you're at the right place or you stay at the right resort, 
because where we were right. uh, out on a balcony not too long ago, we could see you know Epcot fireworks, fireworks and Disney fireworks. <laughs> yeah, and so you would think that at some point they yeah. would yeah. hear all those things, but I don't know exactly. I know at a certain time, obviously, you know you can no longer go on the Jeep ride through all the animals, which makes sense, of course. By the way, the f- changing subjects, the photograph of you and of Kathy Bryant, by the way, in the magazine, mm-hmm. they're both so good. Thank you. But they're too small. They what do you mean they're too small? You need to make them bigger. Don't the pictures? Yeah, let me see. Show well, them. there's only so much space on a page, I, and we like to fit as many folks as we can in there. Yeah, These those pictures are too small. Here. Yeah, those would be nice bigger. Well, if you can figure out a way, maybe we can do like a, maybe we can do some type of fold out, centerfold type situation there. No, Limelight is one of the, you know, most read, most anticipated sections each month because if you've gone to an event. People read that segment first and then they read the rest of the magazine. Yeah. Well, and typically people do read magazines back to front, which is interesting. Because we're all Jewish at heart. I guess. <laughs> and so they, they know it's there and they look for it. And it's really nice to know that we get invited to events. Of course, we get invited to so many and we can't be at every single event. Right. But it is nice to be invited to events and know that people are excited to see our photographer there. And then they can look for themselves in limelight. So, so what's your plans for the summer? Yours and the magazine. What's yours, first of all? Well, you know, the magazine, of course, doesn't really slow down in the summertime like a lot of business does um in fact we we probably have to hustle a little harder just because to make sure that everything that we're including in each issue happens flawlessly sometimes it takes us being a lot more organized because people do take vacations so some of our clients and you know people that we're interviewing for editorial are hardy harder to get in touch with because Mm -hmm. they're they're gone it's like they vanish for the summer so we have to be a little bit more on our a game even in the summer to make sure those things happen but um you know, we have FMAs coming up in, in August, which we go to every single year, uh-huh. and we enter different submissions, you know, illustrations. What does that mean, FMA? Florida Magazine Association. Okay. okay. Yeah, and so we've been a member of that and a part of that, and it's always awesome. It's awesome for two reasons. A, you know, when we submit our work and it gets looked at by a jury of judges who, you know, are not part of FMA. They're not They're not even local. They, they are found from outside of Florida to make everything you know, fair right. and unbiased and it's scholars and it's, you know, Pulitzer Prize winners and, and people of that caliber. So to know that our work is passing through the hands of those people is pretty amazing. And, uh, <laughs> and so uh, that's always nice. And then we get a review of our work, which is really good for, for myself personally, because it tells me, you know, kind of gives me a measure of what I need sure, to do yeah, and yeah, yeah. what I'm doing well, which you hold is your breath nice. before you read it. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, you know, because it's it's nerve wracking, but it's also so important Uh, and so beneficial. So that makes it nice. And to know that we submit awards and then the likelihood of us winning awards is there, the possibility. So that's always nice. But the, the best part about it is when we go, because there's workshops and classes attached to those two days, we get to meet other editors and photographers and designers and social media directors and publishers from all over the state of Florida and sit down with them at a table and brainstorm, okay, these are our biggest problems that we face monthly or daily and get ideas from other professionals who are working in the same exact field and face the same exact problem. So it's very nice to come home with all of these new yeah. people we've networked with. And you would think because we're all kind of competing that – it wouldn't be that way, but at the same time, we're all pretty much, I mean, there are some statewide magazines, of course, and, and major magazines, but there's a lot of city magazines, so we're not necessarily competing uh, because what goes on in our city is not going to be the same thing that you know goes on in Miami South Beach. So, sure. Oh, yeah. So we can really be honest and bounce ideas off one another and yeah, come up yeah, with some yeah. really good ideas. And so we come home, of course, everybody's, our creative juices are going, we get so excited and we're coming home like yes right, we're right. gonna kill it this year you know and 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 usually we try you know and we do and and last year we were very blessed to win best overall magazine in the state of florida and best overall written magazine in the state of florida and that is huge for us so that is amazing all right we are up against the break okay. at, uh, we'll be right back all right kelly is here kelly hart the uh, number if you want to say hi is 622-9622 we'll be right back
weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Friday, a mix of sun and clouds, a high of 88 at the coast to 93 inland. Partly cloudy Friday night, low 73 to 77. Tomorrow, Saturday, partly sunny. An afternoon thunderstorm in spots, the high 88 to 92. And on Sunday, sunshine mixing with clouds, a shower or thunderstorm around high 89 to 93. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Don't get caught without your daily source of senior deals. Pick up your copy of the Senior Voice newspaper. It's your source for schedule and events tailored to seniors with information you need, like a list of free events in the area. We even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company to you that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about them. For more information, call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223. And pick up your copy of the Seniors Voice at most any business up and down the 200 corridor. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper Online. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field. And now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 572-2510. That's 572-2510. Whether you're just starting out in your career or ready to make a change, being a commercial pilot is within your reach. The FAA has predicted that in the next few years, the number of planes in the sky will double, and that means a lot more jobs in aviation. Ocala Aviation has teamed up with an accredited university, enabling you to get a college degree in aviation while training to be a commercial pilot. And with options like financial aid, grants, and scholarships, it's never been a better time to get your new career in aviation started today. For more information, call me at Ocala Aviation, 352-861-7484. Hi, I'm Big Daddy Don Garlitz asking you to support adoption by purchasing a Choose Life license plate from your county tag office. You know it costs a lot to give a child life. Many times a woman is forced to make a bad choice because of financial pressures. Help save the lives of the unborn children by aiding women whom choose life instead of abortion. Take a stand for life. Purchase your Choose Life license plate today. For more information, go to ChooseLife.org or call 352-624-2854. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. 18 minutes after 10 o'clock. It's amazing how much you can talk about off the air <laughs> during a little break like that, right? <laughs> right. Uh, Kelly Hart is here. We're talking about Kelly, and we're talking about Ocala Magazine, and uh, it's already, let's see, the 23rd. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're, oh, you're, you're the is, uh, July Magazine already done? So July, we're wrapping up this week. Wow. Yes, we are. It's hard wow. to believe. Wow. And moving forward. We, we speak to authors all over the place. And every once in a while, we'll have one of them who says, oh, I keep up with your with your, your city through your magazine, Ocala Magazine. That's wonderful. I, I know. And they, they'll know you. They'll know your That's some awesome. of the articles. And, the, and then, then we go on the air, then we talk about their stuff. But of course. But just small talk, they'll bring it up the uh, the magazine. Yeah. Looks like you have a phone call right oh, now. great. Speak, speaking of which, good morning. You're on the air with Kelly. Yes, good morning, guys. And Kelly. Hey, good morning. I really loved your uh, your June cover. It was just a, a, it's a piece of art. I, I cut it out, framed it. I'm sending it up north to my granddaughter, who's uh, she's into that kind of stuff, and I know she'll enjoy that picture. Oh, that's awesome! Thank you for <laughs> doing that. I hope she does enjoy it. Oh, it was such a, it was such a beautiful piece of work. Like I had mentioned before, that the quality of your magazine is uh, it, it, there's no higher quality. I mean, you're right on the you're top shelf all the way. Thank uh, you. W- for your articles like that, uh, how far ahead do you like? Are you working on like September now or October's uh, main article in your magazine, or are you a couple of months ahead, or six months ahead, or just a month? <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish we were six months ahead. That would be my dream come <laughs> true. Um, we we do try to work a month or two ahead, and but in some cases, depending on, for example, we wanted to include Avatar in the June issue because it was so relevant. I mean, the the attraction was opening, and we knew if we delayed it any longer it would kind of be old news. Everybody would have already gone to the opening and visited and, and posted about it. So uh, when we went and traveled and visited, the turnaround time on that was really very quickly. And that happens to us a lot where 
uh, you know, something that we're covering is happening right now, and we have to turn things around. And sometimes it can push other editorial pieces back you know, a month or two, but um, we're always trying to work at least two months ahead. So there's, you know, there's some things that we that we get started on that are not as time, you know, time sensitive that we can work on, and then there's some things that just kind of fall in our lap that we have to turn around really quickly. So, yeah. Um, well, uh, thank you very much, and keep those great colors coming. Hey, thanks so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Bye now. Yeah, Bye-bye. It's, it's always clever too how um, the, the how you put together the cover. Uh, how, yeah, the, the way your eye, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a, there must be some science to it. Or, or Yeah, well, there is, and there's a process. I mean, you know, we have, everybody at the magazine is somehow creative in some way, but all of our creativity is also very different. So typically what happens is we'll put the cover together, we'll decide on, We'll decide on the feature story, and of course, right. the cover and the feature story always match. And then we just do a lot of this and a lot of head but the tilts. Co- the, and co- the coloring, chin are, I'm, I'm looking at them. The, the the Ocala magazine, the word Ocala magazine, yes, is partially obscured by the avatar's face mm-hmm. or head, forehead. Yes, and the blue, the striking blue of the avatar contrasts with the striking pink of the name. Sure, I, I think there's some thought to that, right? Yeah, there is. I mean, if you've looked at some of our color, uh, covers, like the November when we we have veteran, uh, you know, cover. Oh, yes, and It was yes. a very dark cover, and our masthead, that Ocala Magazine masthead. Was that what you call it, masthead? Yes. Okay. It was also very dark, almost where you where you really didn't even see it. And the reason was is because we wanted the image to stand out. We really wanted the image to just be the only thing that's that, that you really, really ama- at. amazing how much and, thought goes into that. Yeah, and so every every issue, you know, that's what we do. We look at the cover, we look at the image. Um, Pandora uses a lot of that uh, hot pink in their logos and in their own branding. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. So, okay. We so pulled, that makes sense. we pulled from that to make sure that we were really following through with the trend on that. And so every month it's a lot of fun. But, you know, we get really excited when we put the cover together because we pick our image and we kind of pick our colors. But then it becomes a chore, just like anything else, because we're like, well, move this to the left a little. No, back to the right. Okay, use a different font. Okay, go back to that font. And, you know, I'm sure that, that my, my creative director probably gets sick and tired of hearing, you know, okay, no, go back. Let me see it again. Okay, up. Okay, down. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, That's a little behind the scenes But stuff. then when it happens, when it finally, when everything finally falls into place, everyone just, we know it. We're like, yep that that's it and so it's important i mean this is this is the reason people will want to pick this up so we have to make sure it's perfect you do have another phone call good morning you're on the air good morning kelly hart and larry hey morning uh kelly hart there's a special invitation and a special poster waiting outside at the office for you well i I already have it they brought it into me this morning thank you so much oh i'm i didn't know that sorry (laughs) no you're fine okay ignore this call (laughs) okay bye. all right thank you okay i think we have another phone call good morning you're on the air with kelly hey this is dan with the main cafe hey dan how are you Good, good. I need some more magazines from you guys because everybody keeps taking them all. Well, that's... Gone that's through a, a huge, I've gone through a huge stack already. All right. Well, we may just pop over today, maybe at lunchtime. Grab all some right. lunch am while I, we're there. Am I on the air right now? You are on the air <laughs> right now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, great. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I thought this was to the office, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know I love the magazine this month. Thank it's you. Great issue. It looks wonderful, and I'm uh, excited I, I, to get some more from my customers because they keep taking them. Well, that's a good thing. That means they're reading them, so we'll bring you some more, yeah. and, I, and I, I know you'll love next month's as well. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much. Okay, bye, All right, thank you. What, what cafe was that? Marion Cafe. Oh, Marion Cafe. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Right downtown. I know. Yeah, yes. I've been there. I like that yes, place. It's yes. wonderful. It's delicious. So, yes, and Marion Cafe is a, is an advertiser of ours, and we have a good relationship and good partnership with those guys, and they do an awesome business over there. So, that's good. We'll we'll take them some more magazines today. So, tell me about your summer. Anything, anything planned? Oh gosh, um, not necessarily. I mean, with it's really hard to make to make plans when 
when you're putting a magazine together because a magazine does not stop <laughs> for vacations. So, so a lot of the, a lot of your exotic trips are magazine related, like when you went to Quebec, when you went yes. to Asheville. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, almost every time you see me somewhere enjoying myself, it, I'm working. So you need to have Linda send you to one of those hotels again, like that one you did down in uh, South Florida. Where was that? Oh, that uh, nice hotel. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, what was the name of that hotel? You came in here with um, who was the writer that went now with you? Now I have forgotten. The young man. I oh, gosh, I love his writing too. Who's, I know. Who's the young man? Oh, remind me. Um, his name. Which? which oh my gosh, which one? I, as soon as you say his name, uh, who Keith? Shark yeah, Man? yeah, 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 yeah. Keith, yeah, and yeah. Keith is working on a really great article that'll be in the July issue too. So. I don't it? want to talk about it yet. You don't want to talk about it? No, okay. but it'll be a great one. You guys will enjoy it. Keith is wonderful. Yeah, we love, I mean, we're always working and it's, I mean, people are like, oh, well, it must be really, really tough job. And I mean, let's face it, going, going down and visiting different places and having them treat you really like royalty because they know you're writing about yeah, them sure, sure. Um, so you know they're they're very hospitable and, and 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 courteous and kind and helpful and that's always wonderful but at the same time we're still working so we still have a job to do by those folks and that's to make sure that that we take good care of them and that we portray their business yeah, in, yeah. in a wonderful light so it's there's still you know and there's still a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on there when we have to visit what we're required to do when we're there what we're required to write afterwards so it's not just all fun and games but i'm certainly certainly not complaining but there are some things i have lined up this summer to go and do in the way of visiting and, and writing and working and then i hope that i can squeeze in just some personal time that doesn't involve me having to <laughs> set an alarm clock <laughs> at all ever for that time don't that would be wonderful one. i don't use one but I know that we have a lot of fun stuff happening on our Facebook page, so I encourage everyone to like the Ocala Magazine Facebook page and also invite your friends to like the Ocala Magazine Facebook page because a lot of times what we do is we have contests where we'll ask you to enter your photo uh -huh. and then we'll repost it and people can vote on that photo for your chance to win things by liking it. So oh, really? <laughs> the more of your friends that like our page, the more chances you have to win contests, really, because now your friends is, and family are... What is the difference between signed... Wait, wait, I am I like it, but I'm not signed up? Was it, was it two different things? So signing up, we have an option on our Facebook page to sign up, which basically asks for your first name and your email. All right, I'm going to do that. Okay, you should, because what that means is every month when this new issue comes out digitally, uh -huh. it drops right into your email. So you don't even have oh, to really? wait for oh, I like it that. Okay. to hit stands. Right, and th there I am. You'll get like a first sneak uh Peak is that new? I don't remember seeing that on nope, there before. No, it's been there for oh. for a while. See, I always just go to ocalamagazine.com and then look for the E thing, whatever it says. Yes. Well, if you go to our Facebook page and you click so the sign up easier. button. This will be easier. Yes, and it takes a second. It's your first name, it's your email, and what that does is just signs you up for our digital issue. So it's very nice for people who are no longer in Ocala but who have family here that still want to keep up with what's going right. on right. and can't get their hands on a tangible copy. It'll get sent right to them. And One of our authors is um, a two city. He lives here and he lives in New York and he's, he keeps up with you through That's the magazine. awesome to know. I, I know. I, one day when he's here, I should yeah. tell him to go see you. And well, you know, it's important when we travel and sometimes people will say, you know, well, it's an Ocala magazine. So why do you feature other places? Well, people in Ocala love to travel. We have family elsewhere, but it's also a way for us to really bridge relationships relationships with other wonderful oh, yeah. cities we when we went to Asheville we came back I wrote the story we sent several boxes you know of, of packages of magazines to all the places we visited because now they're mentioned they'd want to sure. display it um, Angie Lewis and Clint ended up in Asheville shortly after that and and saw um, an Ocala magazine and then one of our Instagram followers was there last oh, really? just last week and went into Wake Foot Sanctuary, where we also visited and featured that. And there was an Ocala magazine. So, sure, you know, I would tell. It's a small world. So, yeah, that's yeah. why it's important that we branch out and visit that's other smart. cities. It that's really smart. connects us. You and can. now the people of Asheville have heard about wonderful Ocala the same way now we've heard about wonderful Asheville so you're gonna have copycats it people is gonna do important. the same thing oh we're used to that that's been <laughs> that's been happening um, but we're trendsetters we've been around since 1980 so it comes as no surprise that you know we've paved the way and 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 um, you know helped other publications along we're fine with that we yeah. like we like paving the way always good to have you bring, Thank in, you, bring in Linda one day bring in Linda oh my gosh I'll ask her I'll yeah. see if she'll come in yeah I'm sure she'd love that I'll do that all right, go get your copy, and uh, so we got another ten days to wait for the July issue. Yep. Will we see you next week? Next week is uh, yeah. 
the end of the month, God right? willing. I okay, okay, good. <laughs> yes. Because 4th of July weekend, that's why I was asking. Yes. Yeah. No, you'll see me. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, Larry. Thanks. We'll be right back. Just want to be your man tonight. Oh, kind of baby. What makes you look so good? Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. The president taking issue with the man behind the Russia investigation.